we finally decided after like several months of getting together and writing, like we should write a musical. Like that's what we all do. Like it'd be really funny. And so it kind of just became this, it morphed into this thing. It's, it's very meta. It's like, it's a show within a show. It's happening in front of you. We're very aware of what we're doing. And it's basically these two guys that are trying to put on this star Wars show that they wrote together because they tried to do it at Comic-Con, but they got banned from Comic-Con for an incident that happened. And so now they're here off Broadway and they've, they needed a girl for the show. And this girl who just graduated from college, you know, just got in the show and, she has her own agenda because that, we kind of had to write like, what's going on? We can't just do sketches for an hour and be like, is there a story? Like, what the hell's happening? We want it to be engaging. And so we, we created this loose storyline that got stronger and stronger where basically it was like, we need to figure out a reason why she hates Star Wars. We love it. We have to teach her like she's almost like the audience experience, like over the next hour and 15 minutes, like we need to teach her why Star Wars is the greatest thing that ever happened in the galaxy, much, much better than Star Trek. And we're like, that should be the title of the show. And so that became the title. We made it so literal. It was called a musical about Star Wars or why Star Wars is the greatest thing that ever happened in the galaxy. Much, much. That's on all the posters. And that's the thing. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. It is very like, this would be like, if I were, if this were a film, it would definitely be like some cult classic indie film. You know, that's why we're off Broadway and we're, we're very aware of that and stuff. But like we literally perform in a church basement theater, which is perfect for the show. Uh, and it's called St. Luke's, which is hilarious that it's called that. Oh. We reference that, you know. <laughs> um, but that's it's what's also been really cool about it, too, is and I have to put things in perspective for myself. And anyone should do this. Anyone should take a time and whatever it is they do, because we can all get so discouraged about the world, about ourselves, about like not getting that promotion, like whatever happens to you in your life. It's so easy to beat ourselves up. And I do it constantly. I'm aware and I'm always working up, but like we have had people in the last several months who keep coming back to the show. We literally have a few, we might not have a lot, but we have a few like a musical about star Wars diehard fans and they'll sit in the front row. They'll dress up. I kid you not. And whatever their star Wars, one girl, uh, she, she makes um, like star Wars, like Lego lightsaber earrings and stuff. And, um, and she's like sells them on Etsy and, uh, she loves the show and has the album and she, she comes constantly and she sits in the front and sings along. Like, that's cool. And like, yeah. we had a show on Valentine's day, uh, before we closed like Broadway and everything else closed recently. But, um, I thought, cause in my history of doing shows, especially like offbeat comedies like this off Broadway, like I'm, I was like Valentine's day, like people are going to go spend money on a Broadway show for a date. They're not going to come here. Dude, we were full, sold out on Valentine's Day. So when we went out, and, and it was like as if we had like a laugh track or like an applause sign. Like they were eating up that night. It was amazing, an amazing experience, an amazing show. And I had the thought afterwards that was very cool and very humbling. I was like, these people are going to remember tonight. Like it's Valentine's Day. Like you go out and you want to make a, you, you want to make that night special for someone. So like these people chose to come here to our show tonight because they share a bond over this, this, this shared experience of Star Wars. They heard about this show. They probably went and had dinner and they wanted to have this shared experience with everyone tonight. And it was an awesome experience. And now they will have that. Mm. And so for me, that was one of the first times that that kind of hit me of, no, like we might not be selling out constantly. We might not be like making a shit ton of money or this or that. But the fact that we have these, even these few people that love this show come and sing along come back laughed like tell us after the show like sometimes they wait around and we're like that was so much fun like i've never seen anything like this or like you know i've never seen someone you know relate to me in that way of like i i am that character you know Mm -hmm. that's cool 